So I just got done telling you guys what I thought about Hoka shoes. I'm basically going to compare and contrast Hoka's to what uh, I would ideally like to see you wearing if you're someone that has foot pain and you want to build stronger, more resilient feet and subsequently a body too. So basically, Hoka's is my example shoe. Hoka's have a very large, uh, un adaptable, inflexible sole in the shoe, so this part. And I would like to see a flat, flexible sole so that it does not restrict your foot's natural movement. Your shoe should be able to bend. If it cannot bend, that's a bad thing because your feet can bend, your feet can move and contort a little bit, and the shoe should allow for you to be able to do that. Um, the next thing is that Hoka's have a narrow toe box. What I would like to see is a wide toe box so that your toes can spread out so that you get better blood flow and so you build strength through the foot. You need all of these, you need your toes to be able to spread wide in order to build strength to get better blood flow. Um, another thing is that the Hoka heel is elevated as it is in most footwear. So that basically means that your heel constantly sits higher than the ball of your foot does without your choice. And what I would like to see is a lower heel, preferably zero drop as it's called, which basically means that they would be exactly level on this plane. And I want that because a raised heel affects your uh, leg and ankle musculature and it shortens and tightens it. So you actually have less ankle mobility, you have less uh, Achilles length, and you have less uh, calf muscle length. So they're all shorter and tighter now just because your heel was raised. So I would like to see that the sole be flat. And the very last thing, kind of the obvious ones when we're talking about Hoka's would be, I want to see less cushioning. They have a ton of cushioning in them. And I understand that this is mostly what the draw is for people to go to Hoka's. Uh, unfortunately though, like I talked about in the last video, cushioning is not what solves foot pain. Cushioning is the band-aid that really doesn't get you anywhere. What you need is something with a little bit of cushioning, but not a whole lot. You just need enough so that each step isn't hurting you. But what's more important in the shoe are the features that we just got done discussing. Something like a wide toe box is actually going to help your foot feel better quicker than a very thick sole that's kind of just like one big pillow is ever going to do. So the next question is basically, well, if I shouldn't be wearing Hoka's for my foot pain, what should I be wearing then? And my answer to that, as I've always said, is zero shoes because those are the ones that have helped me get out of pain. The other recommendation that I've been wearing lately and that I love is Lem's shoes. So I will have both of those linked in the description below. Um, those are both fantastic options. I have a couple pairs of each. Um, and the reason that I love them is because they have all of the aforementioned, aforementioned features I was talking about. They have a flat, flexible sole. They have a wide toe box. They have a low heel, AKA zero drop heel, and they have less cushioning. To be honest with you, zero shoes have very minimal cushioning. So maybe you'd want to start with a little bit higher and that's what Lems offers. And I actually wear those at work for a reason and it's because they have more cushioning in them. So if you're someone who walks on like a hard floor or just hard surface all day, that is probably a better option for you while still getting all the other features that will help you too. So check those out in the description below. I might also have the article that I wrote on Hoka's uh, linked below too. So check those all out. I'll see you next time.